Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to replace values in a vector using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears which is called myVec and we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the console that our vector contains a sequence of numeric values and some of these values are equal to 1. So let's assume that we want to replace each one in our input vector by the value 999. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 5 to 7 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm first duplicating our input vector, as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called myVecNew1. And then in line 6 of the code, I'm using a logical condition to subset our vector. And then I'm exchanging the values where this logical condition is true by the value 999. So if you run line 6 of the code, our vector is updated and we can print our updated vector to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our vector was updated so that the value 1 was exchanged by the value 999. So in this first example, I have explained how to exchange values in a vector using a logical condition. However, it is also possible to exchange values in a vector by using the replace function, as you can see in the next example of this video. And we can use the replace function, as you can see in lines 9 to 11 of the code. And within the replace function, we need to specify the name of our input vector. Then we also need to specify a logical condition. And then we need to specify the value with which we want to replace our values in our input vector. And then I'm assigning this to a new vector object, which is called myVecNew2. So if you run lines 9 to 11 of the code, you can see that another vector object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created exactly the same output vector as in the first example. However, in this case, we have used the replace function to exchange the values in our vector. So in this video, I have explained how to replace values in a vector using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.